Welcome to the live training session number two, part one. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with an EK Coupe that has a K20A2 swap. Now we're going to be finding this has some basic bolt-ons. It's going to have a race header, three inch exhaust, a short ram intake, RBC intake manifold, it has stock injectors, and an upgraded fuel pump along with a upgraded fuel pressure regulator. And we have Honda to K Pro. So we're going to be doing this live training session with the Honda to K Pro on this particular car. And we're going to be finding we have a tremendous amount of information we have to cover. So we're going to be breaking this up into several videos. This is going to be the first video. We're going to be taking a look at how to create the base map for this particular car and then getting started with the tuning process. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can get this live session started. Okay, so let's get started. This is our live training session number two. We have our EK Coupe with a K20A2 swap in it. It has bolt-ons, has a short rim intake, four to two to one header and three inch exhaust, no cat, stock injectors, upgraded fuel pump. This is really basic. This is gonna be a great way to illustrate everything we've learned in the K-Pro training course. So let's get started here and jump in and create our base map to begin this tuning session so we can illustrate everything we need to know and then we're gonna be jumping in and getting Start it with the dyno tuning. So let's jump in here. So we're going to be going into our base map directory. Let's go to new calibration. And we're going into an RSX Type S. Now this is a PRB ECU for this application. So it has that 04 to or 02 to 04 RSX Type S ECU in it already. So I'm going to be selecting this and starting with this. Now this vehicle also has the OEM primary O2 sensor installed in it as well. So we're going to be able to take a look at how to go in and do the open and closed loop tuning method with our stock primary O2. So let's jump in here. I'm going to be going and selecting a stock calibration here. We'll select this K28 to RSX stock tune.cal. It's going to be with the 310cc injectors, which we have the stock injectors in this swap. And it's going to go ahead and select this and click OK and allow it to open up. Now we're gonna have to go through and create this base map. So let's jump in to the parameter section first so we can start going through everything and then we can jump into our tables here and start to edit those and get everything ready. So let's jump here into our parameters. Now jumping into advanced, let's start off here at the top and we'll work all the way down through all of these tabs. Um, I'm going to leave everything in here alone. We're not gonna go and change anything with the overrun cut or the deceleration fuel cut. Uh, there's going to be no benefit to change any of that with this setup, as well as the overrun cutoff minimum RPM. Uh, we should not need to edit any of this. So let's jump into analog inputs. Now, this vehicle does not have a wideband sensor installed or any other auxiliary sensor, so this is a pretty basic swap. Um, we're not going to have to go in here and edit and add anything on. I do have a wideband available for this car that I may be putting into this video um, if, depending on how long the video is going to be running, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we might do some of this video showing uh, with the wideband uh, coming in as an input so we can just take a look at that for the data logging. If I don't do in this video, I will absolutely be including it in upcoming videos in this K-Pro live training. So jumping in here to boost control, we can make sure that this is off. We are not using boost control in an NA engine. Under closed loop here, um, we can see that we have the ability to go into open loop.